Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a digital microscope. This microscope is going to uh, be able to see really detailed on a motherboard or you know a circuit board, something you're working on and you just need a close eye on it and it's going to be great for soldering, looking at electronics, components, um, replacing capacitors on motherboards. It's going to be a very helpful tool uh, for that technician or for you to uh, replace uh, some electronics. So let me show you how this thing works and let's go ahead and do a little quick unboxing of it and then we'll show you a use case example of what you can use this digital microscope for. Okay, so once you get the box, you're gonna open it up. You're gonna have your, uh, everything's gonna be pretty easy to assemble. You just take this unit, slide it into here, screw these screws in, then you mount this onto here and then this gets screwed into here and then that's pretty much it. The, the lights are already on there, already mounted. Um, so it's very easy to put together. Um, it's going to come with a couple different cables. You're going to you're gonna see two different power cables. You're going to be like, well, why do we need two different power cables? Well, one's going to power on our monitor, so that's very important. It's also going to power on that camera that's already built into here. And then the second power cable is going to be these two LED uh, lights here, which definitely help you see whatever you're viewing down here. So you definitely want to hook those up, which is the USB-C ports right here. So we're going to have our cable here. We're going to go ahead and plug that in. All right, once you plug that in, you're going to notice nothing's going to really happen because you use this dial and this turns on the, the lights and you can see the green light just came on. And as we keep turning, you can see our lights get brighter and brighter and you can adjust the brightness. So if you need to, to dim it lower, you can do that as well. So that's a very nice feature there. The second thing we need to do is make sure we have the uh, power for this plugged in. And then now there is an optional thing here. They do have a uh, uh, micro uh, HDMI port here. Now you don't need to plug this in because you have this nice 4K quality screen, but if you want to have maybe a second monitor on standby so you can maybe see it a little bit bigger, you can also have that option. So I like that capability that you're not just tied down to this little screen here, you can actually hook up a bigger screen. So let's go ahead and plug in our power here now. So like I said, we got that additional USB cable we're going to plug in. And since we have a second monitor, we're going to use the supplied micro uh, HDMI cable that came with the monitor, which is really nice because you don't see that a lot. Usually they don't include uh, additional cables, but this manufacturer did, which is nice because now we can have a second screen plugged into it. All right, so we went ahead and turned it around. You can see we have a red light here. That means that the screen does have power. So we're going to hold that down for just a second, and you can see it's going to hold it and power on. And then once it focuses up here, then you can see we're already in manual focus mode. So that's what that MF means. If you ever want to switch out of that MF to auto, you just go down here to autofocus right here and you just tap that one time. You can see on your screen autofocuses uh, that camera to whatever you're viewing in down here. So one cool feature that I just found out about this microscope, that this is actually a light bar here. There's lights underneath this camera. So if I go ahead and plug and turn these lights off, so as you can see, I got all of my lights off and as you can see, it's very hard to see anything, but if I touch right here, there's actually lights built into the camera, which are right down here. I mean, that is awesome. I did not know that. I thought you had to have these, but you don't. Um, now it's not as bright as these, of course, but let's go ahead and turn these back on and I'll show you the difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn those ones back on and those are back on. You can see how much brighter it gets um, so you can see, but that's really cool. I did not know there was built in lights into that, that camera thing. That is really awesome. I love that. Pretty neat feature with this unit as well is that you can see you got battery bars here and you're like, well, I'm gonna have it plugged in. Why is there a battery symbol? Cause it has a built in battery, which is something I didn't even know about. I mean, that is pretty cool. So you could literally, I had everything unplugged just to show you nothing is attached to this unit. It's all been unplugged. Now, of course, these side LEDs won't work because these require additional power, but the unit itself with the built-in light in it already, you can, t this is mobile. Now I can put this anywhere, and if I need to look at anything, I can go ahead and like, hey, I can pull this out. As long as I have battery life, I can go ahead and look at something real quick and not have to hook up all these wires. But if you do, it's just a simple plug. In any case, this is pretty cool. It's completely mobile now. I can move this wherever I want without having all these additional wires plugged in and actually look at a circuit board or something that I need to fix real quick on the job or wherever I might be. So once you have all that set up, um, you would want to look over the manual if you have any uh, issues or anything setting it up. Um, and it does, like I said, come with that uh, remote. So we're going to go ahead and do a, um, a test here. We're gonna, we have this circuit board here, which I'm going to bring in the picture. Um, this thing is having some issues. 
one of the soldering uh, wires down here came loose. So we're gonna actually adjust this and we're gonna see where, oh, see, there's the broken solder. So this thing is very great because now we can quickly see if we're having an issue on a circuit board, if we need to resolder something, maybe replace a capacitor, um, we can do that now. So we're gonna go ahead and now we can actually zoom in down on our thing here. And if it goes out of focus, and all we need to do is go down here to the AF, it'll auto focus, boom, we're focused. It did it right away, that's awesome. And now we can go ahead and get our soldering gun. We get that plugged in and powered up. All right, we got our soldering plugged in. So we're gonna move this over here closer. We got our soldering wire here, so we can refix that. And I just wanna show you one other thing on here. As you're viewing, whatever you're viewing on this camera, if you want to, let's say I wanna capture this image and then maybe look at it later on a computer, this does have a built-in micro SD card in it, so you can take pictures. So to take a picture, it's just simply hit OK, and you can see it's capturing, and it's basically taking a capturing image onto that micro SD, so then you can maybe take that micro SD and plug it into your computer, and you can view those images later. So while we're talking about being able to take uh, photos of something, you can also not just do a photo, but you can also record video. So if I hit the uh, video recording here option, you can see now we are actually recording a live video so if we wanted to actually like look over something, we can actually replay it through our computer or through the video monitor here. So we can actually record ourselves fixing that problem and then later watching that video. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to remove this off. So you can see we got nothing under display. You're going to click on menu. You're going to go to our playback option here. Click on OK. And now we'll be able to play back the images from before. So we can see we just took this image, but you can see it's not there anymore because it's reading off that micro SD card now. And we actually took a couple of different pictures. So you can see this was a picture from a uh, motherboard we were looking at earlier. So that's pretty nice to be able to go back into, hey, I know I fixed this before. How did I do that before? Where now you can you know, save your progress and things right on the fly um, using this microscope. All right, so let's go back into our menu and we're just gonna go over to microscope and click on okay. And we're back onto our camera and we can go back to that uh, solder point that we need to fix, which is right there. So let's get our solder gun out and let's go ahead and try and fix this. So before we go ahead and start fixing this, I'm gonna set our solder gun out. I'm actually gonna turn on this additional screen here so we can actually see close up a bigger picture of what we're looking at here. So we just turn on that screen you can see we got on both screens now. Sometimes having a little bit bigger screen as you're working or maybe someone else is over your shoulder trying to see what you're working on. You can you know, have this displayed up on a big screen and you can actually show people uh, what you're working on. So let's get right back into it here. And let's see if we can get our solder points back on. All right, we got our solder back onto that point. So as you can see in our image here, we now have our wire back onto our jumper. Now, I'm not the best solder, you guys, so that's why this looks pretty bad. <laughs> um, but hey, it works, right? Um, it might not look clean, but hey, it's gonna work, and we've just fixed our problem using this microscope so we can actually zoom in, see what we're trying to solder, instead of trying to look in, because as you can see, this is a small board, right? And it's pretty hard to get to certain things. So if you have a microscope like this to be able to zoom in and see what you're looking for, this is gonna be very helpful for a lot of tech guys out there. Well, like I said, you guys, I hope this video was helpful. I got my my thing fixed here. Now I can put this back in the field for my chicken coop and get it uh, working again. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.